this is Villa Braves and welcome to my FIFA 16 career mode now with Portsmouth. So I did play the first round of the Johnston's Paint Trophy. Uh, I didn't record it though. Um, there's already enough cup games with the Canada One Cup and the FA Cup plus the 46 league games. Um, so maybe if I get to the final, I'll, I'll record that. But in the meantime, um, so we drew 1-1 uh, after the 90 minutes with Carlisle. Uh, it goes straight to penalties and we beat them 5-4 on penalties, so we're next through to the next round of that. We then had transfer deadline day, and again, I've, I've gone through that. I didn't record it because I'm, I'm not going to record all that sort of you know, transfer negotiations. Um, we had one addition um, to the squad. We managed to get a central defender, Dwida, who I've been after. He was a free agent, it's just to bolster the... the defensive numbers um, so he goes along with Washington who recently joined the week before uh, Rodriguez who's on loan from Everton uh, then this other free agent that I got Quinones and another loan uh, of Paslak from uh, Bruce Dortmund and the only two that have left the club way back at the start of the season or pre-season were the two goalkeepers so that's where we stand with the, um, the squad uh, very little money left now, um, so um, if we do uh, want to bolster the squad in January, I may have to sell for some players. So I'm going to see how who performs and how how people perform, uh, and then we'll visit that obviously when the time comes. But in the meantime, uh, the next game is away at Huddersfield Town, so join me on the pitch very shortly. So welcome to Huddersfield as Portsmouth travel north. For this League One fixture. As we see the Huddersfield starting lineup. They're playing a similar formation to Portsmouth. So 4 5 1. Portsmouth forced into a few changes today. As you see the formation. What more back from his injury? And Huddersfield get the game underway. Oh, there's a chance of Dempsey. Oh, he's hit the post and oh, that goes straight across the face of the goal and doesn't quite curl in. The left off for Portsmouth there. A blistering shot from Dempsey. Field on the attack right at the end of the first half. Got two minutes of added on time, and it's going to be a corner for Huddersfield. <coughs> Wasted opportunity. Now is the time for Chaplin to break and do all on his own. Now has to wait for support. That's a good ball though, and Barton's in. And can Barton score? Oh, it ricocheting around. The referee blows the whistle for half time. So a fairly, fairly tame first half. The only significant action really was when Dempsey hit the post early on. But at half time, it's Huddersfield nil, Portsmouth nil. So Portsmouth get the second half underway. And pass that and down the right. Good ball for close. Now Chaplin. Oh, and Chaplin hits the post. It's still there, and the keeper, Blanco, ends up getting the ball. And Bun's done well. Sees a good ball in for Dempsey. What more? Tra tracking him back. Still gets the crossover, and there's a header, but that's straight at the goalkeeper.
Paslak overlapping again down the right hand side. And Paslak now. Paslak still going, he's going all the way. Shoots and the keeper, what a save. Corner for Portsmouth. What a run though by Paslak. First corner of the game for Portsmouth. And Barton extended into the area. The keeper fists it clear. Deep cross. Cleared. And still on the attack though. Oh, there's a good ball across. Oh, and what a cheeky little goal that is. That's a fantastic finish. How he had all that space was just down to pure bad defending and marking. But that is a cool as a cucumber finish. Wonderful back heel. Huddersfield take the lead. So Vaughan gives Huddersfield the lead in these late stages. And Portsmouth now having to come from a goal behind. No false as a referee. Posting the ball back now. Now Portsmouth need a goal from somewhere. Not said Chamberlain. Is it back to close? There's a great opportunity. And is it back? Oh, and he's put it wide. Oxley Chamberlain should have scored. Great move. But he put the shot wide from about seven yards out. And you may well hold your head in your hands. Should have been 1-1. One -one. So we have three minutes of added on time. Three minutes for Portsmouth to find that equaliser. And there goes the final whistle. Defeat on the road for Portsmouth. And they go behind and go down to a goal that you can either describe as wonderful or lucky or a fluke, but they all count, and Vaughan's back heel in the 77th minute, the difference between the sides. And Portsmouth needs to bounce back from this defeat and should have a number of players back from international duty for the next game. But full time here, it's Huddersfield 1, Portsmouth 0. So as you can see from the match facts, not a whole host of chances really and, and Portsmouth having um, more shots and shots on target and the possession was pretty much even but Huddersfield had that one shot on target and unfortunately from our point of view it went in. So we'll take a quick look at the league table now. So Portsmouth slipped down to 10th place after that defeat uh, at Huddersfield. But uh, still very early in the season, five games played, seven points. You know, they're eight points behind the leaders, Shrewsbury. They were the only team left now who have played five and won five. But still a long way to go. But uh, obviously, the, the quicker that you put a stop to a, a losing streak, the better. So we'll see how we go on in the next game, which will follow very shortly. So welcome to Fratton Park as Portsmouth host the MK Dons in the next League One fixture. A rainy day here on the south coast. You see the Portsmouth lineup playing a 4 4 2 today. Rodriguez and Washington. The partnership at the forward up front. You see the MK Dons lineup. Playing a 4 5 1. MK Dons will get the game underway. Portsmouth looking to bounce back from their defeat at Huddersfield last week. And there's an early chance now for Maynard. He's slipped through and there's a shot and what a start for MK Dons and that's just a disastrous start for Portsmouth. 
They'll let Maynard go straight away and he punishes them with a wonderful finish. Less than two minutes on the clock and Portsmouth already behind. Not the start that Villa Braves was looking for. It's a great finish with the left foot. Now Washington with a chance, and Washington, and Washington scores and equalises in the fifth minute. Four minutes and four seconds on the clock, and Washington has his first goal for Portsmouth. What a start to the game this is. Neat little move there, and Washington fed it to close, close gave the ball back to him. And Washington did well. And from a very, very tight angle, keeper should be doing better really from there. Washington fires Portsmouth level. What a game we have already. Washington has the pace. Washington gets away into the area. Oh, and that's a great save by Cropper. Washington showing his pace though. Shot was probably going over the bar, but the keeper wasn't to know that. Pass lap with the corner now from the right hand side. There's a header, that's great goalkeeper from close. Oh no, Rodriguez, is he onside? The flag stays down. Oh, when he went for the death shot and it took a deflection. So we have three minutes of added on time at the end of this first half. A half that got off to an explosive start. They can Portsmouth end it that way. And Rodrigo, oh, Quinones it is, Quinones. And could always hit the post for Washington. And Washington with the follow-up, and Washington has two goals. And Portsmouth take the lead right on the stroke of half-time. Quinones did really well, but hit the post. But Washington was alert picks up the rebound and smashes it in from one yard out and Portsmouth take the lead and Connor Washington gets his second goal of the game And there goes the whistle for half time. So Portsmouth behind after two minutes. But go into the half time break. Two goals to one in front. Thanks to two goals from Washington. So half time here at Fratton Park. It's Portsmouth 2, MK Dons 1. So welcome back as Portsmouth kicking towards the Fratton end. Get the second half underway. Stevens looking for Rodriguez down the left hand side. Rodriguez does well. Gets the cross in. There's a header. Oh, and that's just past the post from close. Good spell of pressure this, and there's a shot, and that's a good save by Dominguez. Now Bennett. Has some space in front of him now. MK Don's pushing forward, leaving gaps behind as we have two minutes of added on time. There's a long ball forward and Dominguez 
Watches that all the way. And there's a mistake now, and Rodriguez to Washington. Oh, Washington tried to play it back across the area for Rodriguez, but defender gets a deflection on the ball. But there goes the final whistle, and Portsmouth win the game. Two first half goals from Connor Washington. Having fallen behind though in the second minute, Portsmouth did well to come back as quickly as they did. And Washington's winner right on the stroke of half time. So good day for Connor Washington. Shows his appreciation to the Portsmouth fans. So final score here at Fratton Park, Portsmouth two. MK Dons won. Match facts. Portsmouth having a few more shots than MK Dons. Both had three on target. MK Dons having more possession. And we'll take a quick look at the league table now. Portsmouth moving up to eighth place now following that 2 1 victory against MK Dons. And Oxford topping the table now with Shrewsbury and Preston, all of them on 16 points. Portsmouth on 10 points. So Portsmouth getting back to winning ways. So that will be the end of this episode. This is Villa Braves. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you join me again soon for the next one.